Well, since I forgot to do the finish cut, I'm just going to take this profile toolpath, going to right click on it, tell it to create a duplicate of that toolpath, and then we'll edit this duplicate. Because everything about it is going to be the same, except it'll be a different tool with a different stock amount. So I'll right click on that operation, select edit, We'll go to our tool selection. I'm going to pick this VNMT insert for finishing. I'm going to go to my passes and turn off the stock to leave. Turn off the rough passes, which automatically activates the finish passes. And I could take one finish cut or I could take multiple if I wanted to. We'll just leave it at one and we'll say, OK, so now we have our facing, our rough, our finish, our drilling, contour around the hex, and then the radius on the outer rim of the hex. So again, if I right click on the setup and go to simulate, That looks much better. Now remember, if you do forget to do an operation like that and you just add one to the end here, you can always take any one of these toolpaths, select them, and move them up or down. You can see the little insert bar where you can put that toolpath anywhere you want. I'm going to grab that profile again and slide it back up here so it's just underneath the rough cut. So reordering toolpaths in your setup is very easy to do.